Fishnet Bible Stories proudly presents Jacob runs from Esau. Esau begged Isaac to give him the blessing because that was their deal. The blessing was stolen by his brother Jacob because Jacob was a heel. Jacob wronged Esau twice. This deception cost Esau a great price. Esau's blood ran hot and it rushed to his head. He promised. I will kill Jacob when father is dead. Rebekah heard what Esau intended to do. She told Jacob, Esau is plotting to kill you. Save your life and run away. Stay with Laban, my brother, for a few days. Esau will calm down and I will send for you to come back and stay. Rebekah said to Isaac, I am sick in my heart because of the Hittite women from around here. Why should Jacob marry someone who is mean and who sneers? Send him to my family where he can marry a woman who is very dear. Isaac called Jacob into his tent to bless him and send him away. Don't marry a local Hittite woman who is mean and who sneers. Go visit Uncle Laban. This command you must obey. Marry someone from his family who is dear and sincere. May the one true God bless you and give you many children. May your descendants become many tribes and nations. The land promised to Abraham will be given to your children. The blessing of Abraham rests on you. That is my declaration. Isaac sent Jacob away to Padan Aram, where Uncle Laban lived, to find a wife. Esau learned that Jacob was sent away, and that his Hittite wives made his parents grieve. To please his parents, he decided to find another wife. He married Mahalath, the daughter of Ishmael, so that his parents would be pleased. Thanks for watching. This was part six of Jacob and Esau's story in our Genesis series. Check out our website, fishnetbiblestories.com, for slideshows of all of our stories, coloring sheets, and of course, our Bible story videos. Have a great day. Bye!